Hello everybody, I'm Eve Costarelli here from the Natick Recreation and Parks YouTube channel with Groove and Flow Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me today and for anybody who's repeated, thank you so much for coming back. This is such a gift for me and I just want to thank the Natick Recreation and Parks YouTube channel for sharing this wonderful gift with me. I've had a great time teaching. So this is a day of pure gratitude, and it's my way of saying thank you so much for being part of my yoga. Please find me on Always Letter B Dancing on Facebook, and you can also go to my blog at alwaysbedancing.com. All right, thanks so much. Let's get started with some yoga. I'm going to move back a little bit, and we'll just start with a little bit of breathing. So everybody sit up nice and tall. And take a moment to settle in and think of something that you feel grateful for. Something that you feel thankful for. It could be your home. It could be something new that you got that just made you so happy to get it. It could be something that somebody said to you or even a thought that you had in your own head. So everybody take that thought into your head and close your eyes. And we're just going to take a breath in, nice and deep with our nose. And breathe out. Breathe in and see yourselves happy and healthy and strong and radiant. And breathe out anything that worries you, regrets, shame, fear. Let that go. Let's do another one of those. Breathe in deep. Pull in health and happiness, radiance, shining, and breathe out anything that's bothering you that's darkening your clouds. And one last time, a deep breath in, really deep into who you truly are, and breathe out. Okay, we can open our eyes and kind of shake our hands a little bit, shake our bodies, kind of get moving. And we're going to do a little standing flow motion. So everybody's going to stand up at the top of your space if you're on a mat. or I don't recommend being on a towel right now because it will be slippery. It'd be better if you had bare feet on whatever floor you are on. Okay? So stand up nice and tall and take a deep breath in. And be ready and breathe out. Breathe in, lift your arms above your head, straight in front of you, all the way to the top. Breathe out, let them float down. Again, breathe in, palms facing each other, rise up to the top, shoulders down. Turn the palms down and let them float down. Last time, breathe in, and I'm gonna start to look up and maybe lean back a little. Oh, and float your hands down all the way to the ground. Okay. Hang upside down, take a breath in, and a breath out. We're going to step our left foot back, and then I'm going to put my knee down on the ground, and I'm going to uncurl my toes, and I'm going to have a right angle at this part of the knee here, and another one right here. So I want to be kind of even, like there's kind of a square between my legs. And my hands are on either side of my foot. And I'm just going to take a breath in here. And a breath out. On the next breath in, engage your belly, belly muscles and lift your hands up a little. Hold it. And breathe out. Now we're going to try to lift them all the way up. We're going to breathe in. Palms are facing each other, just like before. And when we breathe out, we're going to fly our hand back, bring our belly down to our thighs, and fly like an eagle forward. Breathe in up. Look at your hands. Float the hands back and behind you. Last one. Breathe in all the way up. Look at your hands, stretch back a little bit, and float your, woo, float your hands down. Breathe in, breathe out. 
I'm going to curl my toes in the back foot, and I'm going to stretch that leg out long, and I'm going to lift my chin so my back is straight and not curled over my leg. I'm trying to lift up off my leg. That might be too far for you, so you might be apt to put your hands here, and that's okay. Maybe you have blocks. You could put your hands up on blocks. Give yourself whatever you need to do to feel successful in the pose. That's your yoga. All right. We're going to breathe in, engage our belly muscles, and lift up our hands. Put them down as you breathe out. Engage your belly muscles. Breathe in. Lift all the way to the top and breathe out. Stay right here. Breath in. Lift up your belly button. Breathe out. Use your muscles inside your belly to lift up your belly button. One more time. Breathe in up. Breathe out down, float your hands down, put your knee down. And you might need to move your foot a little bit closer in now. It might have gotten a little far away because we're going to just do a stretch here. So you want to go past your knee now so you can stretch your thigh out. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Rock back a little bit, put your hands down, step your other foot back. We're going to go into plank pose. Yep, lift up your belly like you're trying to lift up your muscles inside your body to hold your belly button up. Breathe in. Breathe out all the way down to the ground. Uncurl your toes. Breathe in, press to cobra. And then hiss, hiss, snake it down. Again, breathe in. Push with your hands to lift your chest up. Breathe out. Lower yourself down slowly. Last time. Breathe in up. Hold yourself there for just a moment. Hold and release down to your belly. Breath in. Push yourself back into child's pose and curl up in a little ball sitting on the back of your heels with your big toes touching. No crisscross back there. I'm going to turn around so you can see what my feet look like from behind. And rest in child's pose. And take three deep breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And one last time, breathe in and breathe out. You're going to face the front of your mat. You're going to use your belly muscles to bring yourself up to your knees. You're going to step your right foot forward. Then you're going to lift up and put your left foot forward. Take a breath in and a breath out. And now we're going to start the other side. I hope I remember everything I did. <laughs> All right, take a breath in and a breath out. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, arms float down. Breathe in, arms float up. Look up at your hands. Breathe out, float them back down. Last time, breathe in. Bring your head to look up at your hands. Let your hands go a little bit farther back. Keep your eyes looking where your hands are reaching like you're giving somebody a present. And breathe out, float all the way down to the ground. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Breathe in. Step your right foot back. Right angle. Nice and strong. Put your knee down. Make sure you feel like you have a square in between your legs. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Relax your toes a little bit. All right. Bring your hands to your knee for a moment. Take a breath in. And put them back down. Engage your belly muscle. Pull your belly muscles up. Rise all the way up. Hands above your head. Fly back as you breathe out, belly to thigh. 
long, be a long bird, like you're diving forward. Breathe in, engage those belly muscles, lift up, up, up. You're gonna look at your hands, and then you're gonna float them down, fly back. Breathe in, engage your belly muscles, great. Lift it up, lift it up, hands go, eyes go with the hands. You're reaching that present, maybe back a little bit, and breathe out, float your hands down. Take a breath in and a breath out. Curl your toes under in the back and stretch your leg long. Remember, you want to have your chin lifted a little bit so you can have a straight line. And if you can't, have your belly on your thighs just by putting your hands on the mat. You could put them up on blocks or you could hold it. It's a little bit harder because it's a little less balance. You have a little less balance, but you could hold yourself right here. Once again, you want to make the pose fit for you, right? Take a breath in and a breath out. Engage your belly muscles, breathe in, lift up your hands a little, float here for a second, and breathe out, put your hands back down. Woo! Breathe in all the way up. You're gonna stay here for three breaths and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, breathe in, breathe out. Float your hands down. Put the knee down in the back. Uncurl your toes. Wiggle this foot back a little bit now so that you can press forward on your leg. Yep. Yeah. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, breath in, breath out. Last breath in, breath out. Hands down. This time we're going to step back into plank pose as you breathe out. Breathe in, lift up into downward dog. You might need to adjust your feet a little bit. Right? But your heels should be relaxed. They don't have to be touching the mat because you really want to feel like you're lifting up towards the wall behind you with your bottom. Yep, get out of your knees. Don't straighten your knees too much. Breathe in and breathe out. Maybe your heels can relax a little bit as you breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good job. We're going to look at our hands. We're going to take three hops. One, two, three. Roll it up slowly. Slow, slow, slow. Nice. Breathe in. Arms crisscross. Breathe out. Float them back down. Again, breathe in up. Look at your hands as they crisscross and let them float down. Last time, breathe in all the way up. Crisscross. Look back. Stretch back. Reach as far as you can and writing yourself and letting your arms float down. Great, so we're gonna do a little exercise um, where we make the shape of a figure eight. So let's just think of what that looks like. Take your arm, you up, down, crisscross back up, around and down, up and around. There you go, just get that, this is our left arm going. Just let it flow. Keep drawing your eights. Maybe hang a little bit so it's like a big circles with your arms. Yeah, keep going. Smooth and fluid. It's the eternity symbol. It's an eight. Okay. And come up. Right arm. Down, up, cross, up, down, up, across, up. I feel like I'm a conductor of an orchestra, kind of, right? And then I'm going to start to hang a little bit so I can make my arm a little more fluid. And it's just hanging down and it's making its eight shape. You might notice if this side is more complicated, 
until you get the flow going, or maybe it was easier. Maybe you got right into it. You're like, that's a good side for me. Took me a second on this one. Okay, I come up. Now, I don't know, can we, two arms together, flowing in one direction, making your eight that way. Just hang and go and flow and go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and up. Now you've been noticing probably your hips were moving around while we were doing that. Let's try to draw our figure eight with our hips now. Put your hands on your hips. And if you're drawing a picture right below you, you're taking, there's like a pen between your legs and you're moving that pen up to make a round, goes down, whoop, crosses through the center, oh, goes around the other side, and then it goes back through the center, to the left, around to the bum, around to the right, and around. Can you get that flow going? See if you can get it to go. Be very flowing. Hips are going around. Hips are making the eight. Hips are making the eight. Six. And maybe you could get it to go a little smoother and a little faster. Gently breathing and moving. Don't hold your breath. And now maybe you're just going to bring it up to as fast as you can go. Around and around and around and around. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Bring your feet together. Let your arms hang right by your side. Close your eyes and notice your balance. Take a breath in and a breath out, feeling grounded and grateful and great. <laughs> okay, just shake it all out. Start to shake. Shake your hands. Shake your hands. Add your arms. Your arms are going. Your arms are going. Yeah. Okay, now your shoulders are going, and your chest is kind of going, and your back is kind of moving, and your hips are now going, and your knees are going, and your feet are going, and your head is going, and everything's going. Just shake it out. Shake, shake as much as you can. Okay, seven, go, six, five, four, three, two, one, freeze. Stand totally still, whoa, and notice your balance. Notice your breath. And breathe out. Deep into who you truly are. Really take a nice breath into you. And release. Let's practice tree pose. Okay, so we'll put our hands on our hips. And first we're just gonna rock a little bit side to side. Just to notice the shiftingness of our feet. Feels, you can really feel it when you're on a yoga mat because the floor like sinks down and then the other part the mat feels like it rises up. So get yourself to the center. And now shift your weight over to your left foot and pick up your right foot for tree pose. My hips are even, I take a breath in and a breath out. You can always hold on to a chair or a partner or a wall, wherever, if you feel like you can't hold your balance. And it's okay if you keep falling. Just keep trying. It no, no, doesn't have to stay up the whole time. Just, just notice that. Take a breath in. Maybe your arms will go to the sides. And a breath out. Pull up your belly button. Remember that muscle? Lift up from the inside. Okay, breathe in. Arms up to a high V shape. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, you'll notice you can pick up your belly button a little bit more. Take a breath in one more time. 
and float your hands down and bring your foot down. Stand up nice and tall and notice your balance. Take a breath in and a breath out. Okay, so shift your weight over to your right foot. Pick up your left foot. Have your hands on your hips so you make sure your hips feel nice and even. Take a breath in and a breath out. Breathe in, arms stretch wide. Breathe out, engage your belly. Breathe in, arms up to that high V shape. And breathe out. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, releasing the pose, standing up nice and tall, take a breath in and notice your balance. Notice how grounded you feel, how great. And as you breathe out, we're gonna bring ourselves down to our mats. Okay, so we're going to take our left foot and it's going to be the front foot, my left foot. I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna put it under my right and maybe I could bring the back of my hands together. That might be a position. You want your elbows to be up. If that's too hard, you can just crisscross your hands right onto your shoulders and give yourself a hug. Either one is fine. This one here, or if the arms are up, and even sometimes people can squish their hands around to each other, it's like a big snake coiling up in front of you. Yep, keep your shoulders lifted, take a breath in, and a breath out. A breath in, and out. And one more. And as you breathe out, release your arms, release your hands, down to your knees, take a breath in, and a breath out. All right, so we're gonna switch our crisscross. We're gonna put the right foot in front, take the right arm, stick it under the left arm, position one, holding the shoulders, or position two, back of hands together, or position three, palm to palm with the snake wrapped up right in front of your eyes. Lift your elbows up so you're really stretching out your shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And one more. And as you breathe out, releasing the pose, putting your hands in your lap, taking a breath in and a breath out. All right, so let us do one last pose, which is going to be fish pose. So we're gonna stay in our crisscross and we're gonna stick our fingertips a little bit under our bottom and start to bend our elbows so that our elbows come down to the floor, but our back does not. So my back is up, my chin is up, my head is up, and my elbows and lower arms are on the floor, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna breathe in and lift my chest up, 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 but don't let your chin go. Keep your chin close to your chest. Breathe in and breathe out, bring it down. You might like to stay there with your head. You might also like to go to position two, which would be breathing in and just lifting your chin a little bit, but holding onto your head. It doesn't fall back. Just trying to open up the space a little bit and breathe out. All right, last one. Lift your chest, lift your chin. And if you like, you can look all the way back to behind you, but don't drop into your shoulders. Keep lifting up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your head up. Release your arms. Release your legs. And let yourself rest on the floor. I call it gingerbread man cookie because your arms are out by your sides, like the two little arms are out. Your palms are facing up to the ceiling. Your legs are flopped out to the side. 
You find a comfortable rest right here and you stop moving. Just to remind you that I'm going to sit up, but I would like everyone else to stay lying down for just a few more moments. Let your bodies rest. Imagine you're on a float in a nice safe pool of water. And you're just floating there and letting yourself relax. Your eyes might be open gently looking up at the sky. And if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes or keep them open just as they are. Imagine that you see clouds every time you have a thought. And when you see that cloud, just let the gentle breeze wash it away. It's just a thought cloud. And take three deep, long breaths, bringing back to your mind the image of what you're grateful for. And maybe you can see a lot more things that you feel grateful for. There's so much to be thankful for that's not just material items. Thankful for air, thankful for water, thankful for the earth, thankful for people, thankful for pets, thankful for animals, the wild, the trees. So much to be thankful for. So maybe today when you go forward, you'll remember to look a little bit around and just think of all the amazing things that you could be thankful for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Eve Costarelli. Please find me at alwaysbedancing.com. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you again soon. Ciao.